Hello friends, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to expand your project with external packages from NPM. Uh, one of the biggest reasons to use a package manager is their powerful dependency management. Instead of manually having to make sure you get all dependencies wherever you set up a project on a new computer, NPM automatically installs everything for you. But how can NPM know exactly what your project needs? Meet the dependencies section of your package.json file. In this section, packages uh, your pr in this section, packages your project requires are stored using the following format. So here they're adding express, and they've got a package name of a version. Package name version. Actually, this is just an example, I think. this I don't think this is an actual package, but express is. This handles routing in Node. Um, add version 2.14.0 to the of the moment package to the dependency field of your package.json. Moment is a handy library for working with time and dates. Okay, so we've got our package here. Uh, currently we have a dependencies of Express, and what we want to do is add a uh, version two, uh, a moment, uh, version 2.4.0. So I'm just gonna copy this and move it all over to here and inside of our dependencies. Uh, we don't need this, and we actually want to flip it around so we have moment uh, 2.1.4 and um, I, I'm really uh, it's really important to me to get spacing right and then you'll see this is a key value pair this is the key and this is the value the value is an object and within this object there's a key and a value and a key and a value and so we need to separate these with a comma and so that's if you're having trouble with this that's probably the thing another thing to keep in mind is you don't want to have single quotes it needs to be double quotes so you want to make sure and also I don't think that you want a comma here you just like there's no comma here on the last key value pair in within an object you do not add a comma so there is no need to put a comma here that's why there's no comma here and no comma here because they're the last elements of an object um, so cool, save this, and then we're going to do the same thing. Uh, git add, we're going to add the change, we're going to say git commit dash m, and we're going to say add uh, moment uh, dependency node module, and then we're going to say git push. Now if you notice here on GitHub, we do not have our dependencies, we only have express here. And so when we git push, we're going to push this to GitHub where we, can, we have our management and everything like that. If we refresh the page here, it hasn't synced up yet. But if we refresh now, we see moment has been added to the GitHub project. And, but that doesn't mean that we'll pass the test. This is our, our, our app live on the internet. And if I publish it here and I say the complete the challenge, it's going to say the dependencies should be included and they're not. And so what we need to do is add, we need to push it to Heroku. So we say git, um, push uh, Heroku head master. And so this is going to go through the setup. It's going to kind of rebuild and reinstall, set, reset up the app. I've got, if you want to see it in action, you can watch the logs here. It says build started, build started by Ian. Uh, the build failed. Check your output. Hmm. This is strange. So, push failed, rejected, compile Node.js, if you're stuck. Weird. Why missing moment 2.1.4? Okay, so let's check this out. This might just be moment npm module. Moment npm. And so, upgrading to 2.0 contributing license. They don't have any information about the past. Um, so yeah, perhaps what we should do, let's see, 67 versions. And so the version that we're trying to install is 2.1.4, 2. Point, oh, sorry, 2.14.0, 2.14.0. So that was a four years ago, the package. So perhaps there's just an issue with the package. This is the kind of thing that you end up dealing with when you're doing a lot of package dependencies and things like that. Um, so yeah, let's just see if this code, if it'll pass the code, if it'll pass 
free code camp um, requirements with 2.26.0. Let's just go 2.26.0. Oh. So over here, we're going to say moment 2.26.0. Oh. And if we save that, and then we're going to try, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, git add, uh, git push, oh, git commit module with 2.26.0. And then we're going to say git push Heroku master head head master. So hopefully this will work. Because, yeah, we're sorry this build is failing. You can troubleshoot here. Uh, they give us a link. A complete log can be found here. And it just says we're missing moment at 2.14.0. So we changed it to 2.26.0. And we'll see if that works. Are in sync. Please update your lock file with npm install. Ah, okay. So in order for me to do this, I need to go npm install. So this is Node Package Manager, and then it's just saying install. So I guess, and then that updates the JSON.lock file. So that's how they manage the, the dependencies. And now we can say git status, and we've got a, a package change and a package.json change. So let's say git add and git commit. Um, npm install after running npm install and then we're gonna say git push so that's going to push our changes to github here so instead of 2.1.4 it's gonna be 2.26.0 and you see the in npm install actually um, linted this as well so it changed the way it was that okay and so I'm coming back over here and now I'm going to say git push Heroku uh, head uh, master. So let's see if this works. And I'm wondering if the, the free code camp is actually going to say that I've got the wrong module type. So we might have to actually run this again just to pass the tests. Um, but we'll see how that works out. Um, so once it's deployed, we can come back over here and we don't need to change anything. It's still at the same place. So we can say I've completed it. It's going to say this one's failed because we should have 2.14.0. I didn't need to update the version, so I'm going to come back over here, uh, package that version, and I set the version to the right place, save it here, and then get status. You'll see that. We want to say npm install. <clears throat> so now our package.lock has um, come to the right place, and then we're going to say, git add and then we're going to say git commit update moment version oh, git uh, push so that means we're going to push our changes to github and then we're going to say we want to push our changes push um, Heroku head master so now this is I have a high degree of confidence this is going to work because in the last one it, we were able to say that in their test it says the moment is installed but we had the wrong version and so in order to pass these tests specifically we need to use the version from four years ago um, so yeah now it's launching and our we don't need to actually change anything here we can just uh, submit and it should be live there we go cool Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.